Hi guys, this is Casey Kasem, and this uh, geometry lesson is on surface area of pyramids and cones. All right, let's begin. Okay, uh, let me just go over some uh, names that are on the pyramids, you guys. Okay, you got this. This is a pyramid right here. Pyramids go up into a point right up here. So here's my point right here, and it has a polygonal base. It's a polygon. In this case, it's a rectangle right here. Okay, and this triangle, this triangle on the front right here, is called a lateral face. Okay, this is also a lateral face over here. Okay, this guy. And you see that lateral face in the background with the dotted line, and there's one more lateral face over there. Okay, so that's a lateral edge right there, um, and this is a base edge right there. Okay, so, uh, but we're going to be dealing with mostly uh, the regular pyramids where, where uh, uh, the height is right there, right in the middle of that guy. And um, uh, and it's a regular polygon on the bottom right there. And you need uh, the slant height. And it has to be a regular pyramid so you can have the same slant height. Because when it's a regular pyramid, you have all congruent triangles going all around the top. And they're triangles because it goes up into a point. Prisms, there would be another, if this was a prism, there would be a square on the top up there. But these are pyramids that go into a point right here. Okay, we'll deal with cones in just a second. All right, so the surface area of a, an S of a regular pyramid is um, S equals B, where it's the area of the base, uh, plus one-half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. And this L is called my slant height right there. Okay, let's try one here. Okay, so find the surface area of this guy. And we're only going to do one of these pyramids right here. Okay, so uh, remember, here's the formula, uh, B plus uh, one-half pH. So let's deal with that base real quick, you guys. That base is a hexagon right there. And since I know the height of that little triangle right there, I'm going I'm to get the area of that little triangle right there. The area of a triangle is one-half uh, base times height. So one-half 10 times that 5 root 3, and I get um, uh, 25 root 3. But hexagons makes up six equilateral triangles. So I'm going to multiply that 25 times 6, and I get 150 root 3. So the whole base is 150 root 3. Okay, that part's done. Now let's do the one-half pH, okay? The one-half, I'm sorry, one-half P times slant height. The one-half, uh, the perimeter, the perimeter is 10, and there's 6 10, so that's why I got the 60 right there. And the slant height is, is that dude right there. It's at 14. So I get 420 when I multiply all that. Okay, now I just got to add those two together, and that's going to be the, the surface area of this pyramid right there. Okay, uh, so I get 420 plus 150 root 3 feet squared. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of textbooks like to change those to decimals. So if I was doing this to change it to a decimal, I do uh, square root of 3 in my calculator first and get like 1.73. Multiply that times 150, and whatever you get there, then go ahead and add 420, and you should get uh, 679.81. All right, let's deal with a cone next, you guys. So, uh, oh, wait. Uh, so the lateral area is everything except the base. So you take off the base, it's that one-half pH right there. So, so let's go find uh, the lateral area of that last figure that we just did right there. Okay, so there's that figure right there. The lateral area was just this, this one-half pH. So the answer is just 420, okay, and it's feet squared, okay? So 420 feet squared. So just take off the base parts, the one half pH, if they ask you for the lateral area. Okay, a cone, you guys. The surface area of a cone is just your base plus one half. Now this is your perimeter of a circle, you guys. It's circumference, so that's why it's, it's still one half pH, but it's it's a it's a circle on the bottom. So it's one half C, uh, not pH. It's PL, but it's one half CL, where L is still the slant height and C is still the circumference. Okay. These are kind of, I think, a little bit easier, you guys. So here's one right here. So let's find the surface area of this cone right here. Okay, so it's going to be uh, uh, pi r squared for the area of the base because the circle on the uh, area of a circle is pi r squared. And then the lateral area, this would be the lateral area, pi r l. Okay, so if they ask you just for the lateral area, it will just be pi r l. But the whole surface area is pi r squared plus pi r l. Here we go. So uh, pi times 6 squared plus pi times 6 times 8, and I get, um, I get uh, oh, let's see, oops, there should be an equal sign right there. I forgot to put an equal sign right there. Equal. So um, uh, I get uh, 84 pi meters squared, or uh, two, uh, changing it to a decimal, 263.76 meters squared. 